Hello beautiful people and welcome to your weekly guidance for the 5th of October 2020 with me Julie Poole. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Julie Poole. You'll find everything you need in the description box below, the links to book in with me, um, the links to your 2021 general readings, which if you want to purchase them from my website, you can do, and the links to the cards that I use. Now, we're going to do timelines for this, timelines, timestamps um, for this. We're going to do a general read for probably 10 10, 15 minutes and then we're going to get a couple of cards for each of the 12 signs and I will put the timestamps in the description box below. All right my darling so let's bring the camera down and see what we have for this week of the 5th of October. What do we have please? This is for all signs, general energies, general information. Okay they're just pausing me and saying about the planets shifting and changing and as you guys know hopefully I'm not an astrologer um, but I know you know I watch others and I follow others and what they're saying is it's a significant week in terms of planetary changes all right now we are walking away from something um, this has been a shifting time let me get the cards out and then we'll talk about them together okay Tell me more about the week of the 5th for everybody, please. We've got the ship and we've got the child. Lovely. All right. Now then, what else do I want to know? This, those are from the Tarot Dreams and the Lenormand. And this is the Wisdom of the Oracle. Let's see. Okay. We've got round and around. Some of you are stuck. Are you stuck with my lovelies? <laughs> you're stuck trying to get to your treasure island where's my treasure i know i know all right let's bring the camera up to both of us okay so let's talk about these king of cups is coming out first a beautiful beautiful energy whether this is you or somebody you know or somebody you want to know indeed um, but the king of cups is an energy coming from the heart compassionate loving family orientated very stable very secure emotionally in a good place all right now if you don't know anybody like this then this is you and if you are not in that place that is where you want to be we'll get some clarity from um, probably the gilded tarot we'll find out a bit more about these cards but the king of wands of cups even um, is where you're trying to get to but something has been a struggle here. We've got the Eight of Cups underneath that King of Cups. And that Eight of Cups is saying, um, I'm coming away from, why am I coming away from the King of Cups? He's a lovely energy. Okay, so I'm just asking them because I'm confused and I don't get confused easily. All right, <laughs> so, all right, okay. A little bit too... Um, all right, so what they're saying is, whilst we like to be in a nice, stable place, none of us like being bouncing off the walls emotionally, do we? No. But sometimes we get stuck in a rut where every day is the same and nothing is shifting and there's no excitement and actually a little bit of stretch in ourselves might cause a bit of stress, but it gives us a bit of fire in our belly. I feel that for some of you, if this is resonating, you're needing to walk away from what you've always done in order to keep everything safe and stable and secure. Oh, okay, we're coming to the safety. Some of you are in that energy of listening to the narrative. I'm not going to say a lot about it because I've got to be careful. I don't want my channel demonetized or closed down. Some of you are listening to the narrative and you are um, too scared to live any kind of life. Um, I want you to come away from that, all right? Because it's hard work. It's really hard work living in fear all of the time. It's exhausting, it's stressful, it's bad for your body, it's bad for your mind, and it's certainly bad for your emotions. So come away from that. Now, it's gonna mean something different for other people. So what else is this about, please? Okay, some of you are coming away from a relationship with this King of Cups. Now, it might be a father, it might be a... Um, a partner this might be somebody at work but you are ready to turn your back on them for some reason we're gonna to have to get some clarity on this it's rare for me to be confused but I am a little bit I've got to be honest all right and we've got the page of swords 
So there's some information coming in that's going to help bring the clarity. Yay, jolly good, okay? Because the page brings news. It might be an email, it might be a post on social media, it might be, um, you know, talking, gossip, it could be anything like that. But there's news coming in that's going to throw a light on this. I'm definitely going to have to get some cards to clarify this. But you're going to be able to rise above it. We've got the ship here. And the ship is about your ship's coming in. Yes, it's like the three of wands. It's the number three, which is expansion. But behind this ship, there's a load of mountains. All right. You can't quite see it there. But there, there you go. That's better. There's a load of mountains. And mountains represent struggles. So you're able to fly above, rise above the struggle. And how are you doing that? Well, we've got the child card underneath it, which is that innocence and play and focusing on family and children, which is very much the King of Cups. So we want to get back to enjoying life a little bit, allowing the joy and the play to come back. Now, round and around we go. Um, now, the round and around card says some of us are stuck in a loop where it's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> OK, certainly feels like that here in the UK. Um, so there's a time to rail against it and there's a time to accept that for now this is the way the situation is and according to the astrologers not much is going to change until the end of the year so acceptance is the key but at the same time I really want you to come away from that fear mongering I'm terrified to go out I'm you know I'm going to die all of that you're not <laughs> you're safe all right i do wish i could say more but i can't because of the censorship so but just trust me when i say you're safe okay all right treasure island you are moving towards this beautiful energy with the turtle here and this treasure chest on its little back okay we've got more water and flow so there's a lot here about emotions this week and using the swords the mental clarity to cut through um, the emotional discourse because the treasure island wants to be coming towards you and not going round and round in circles and missing it each time, missing it. This time I want you to catch it and grab it and grab hold of it and say, mine, 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 mine. All right, let's get some clarity then. Let's find out a little bit more. What are we walking away from? What's that eight of cups? Let's bring the camera down, guys. What's that eight of cups? What are we walking away from? We're walking away from the struggle, but there's a link here with this King of Cups. All right. And there's the King of Wands. Two kings here with the Eight of Swords. So I've been stuck. I felt trapped. I felt disempowered. And I want to walk away from that because it's a struggle. I felt trapped in the loop, in the narrative, in the going round in circles, that, oh, here we are on a second wave. Let's go back to where we were. Um, and I sound really patronising about that. And I apologise for those of you who truly are nervous about this um, current situation. Um, all I can tell you is that I don't have that belief and neither do my spiritual team. Tell me some more about that nine of wands. Six of wands. So you're going to be successful. You're going to ride high. You're going to ride high and above that narrative, okay? This is you sticking your head above the parapet and letting yourself be seen and letting other people see you. Um, allowing, you've got the Eight of Cups again. You're definitely coming away from where you felt stuck, where you felt out of balance, and you're opening up your options. The Two of Swords there, where you felt like, I can't see, I don't know, I'm confused. I'm coming back to balance and I can see other other options I can see other choices and now I'm ready to be able to take things forward in a much more positive way but it has been stressful and I recognize that with that nine of cups uh, nine of wands which is the battle weary soldier we're all getting a bit tired of this many people across the world are very tired of the restrictions that just go round and round and round okay but trust that you are coming into a much better place. You will rise above those mountains. But it's essential that you get some rest and you get into a bit of play energy. Because that's really going to help you. Really help you. Okay. That's it. Anything from that? No, that's that. All right. Let's see what the angels want to add, guys. Okay. 
Let's see what the angels want to add. Okay. You've got Zafkaya with ecstasy. Let's get into the ecstasy, the I am presence and the hope. And there's those planetary cycles that I was talking about. All right. So let's be aware that Saturn is going direct. Pluto's going direct. Um, Mercury is not going um, into retrograde till the 13th, but he's already in shadow period. OK, so these planetary cycles are shifting things forward. So what can you do? You stay in the hope. Know that you're safe and secure. Find your sense of peace and focus on the joy because joy is here. It's here. So let's stay in the joy. All right. In the ecstasy. And we can, to help us with that, use the I am presence. The I am presence is your godhood, your god self, your I am force, the I am divine intelligence within you. Tune in and listen to that because it will tell you you're safe. Stay in the security, in the hope. Allow things to shift. They will shift no matter how much they're going round and round in circles. Eventually that cycle will break and we will get to the treasure island. All right, my darlings. That is what I have for you for the week of the fifth for the general read. Let's move into now each of the 12 signs and add two cards for each sign for a little bit more detail. All right, my lovely Aries, how are you doing? Oh, let me just write this down. Hold on a little minute. And we are 11.54 for my Aries. All right, my darlings, let's see what we have for you. What do you have specific for Aries, please, for this week of the 5th? Just for my Aries, sun, moon or rising. Okay, you've got the palace of coins. Beautiful. And the Eight of Wands. How lovely. All right, Aries. Those of you thinking about moving, you're on the move. All right. The Palace of Coins symbolizes a home that's very harmonious and balanced and secure. And the Eight of Wands with it is talking about things moving now. It's the minor arcana equivalent of the chariot. So you are moving on now. You're able for things to take off. This is communication coming in with that Eight of Wands. The communication coming in fast and furious so that you can move on. Now, this can also say symbolize moving to a new job because the palace isn't just homes it's work generally the palace of coins is home but it's coins so it's security it's foundations it's stability and your stability is now taking off those of you out of work who've lost your jobs you're going to find there's there's some news now coming in for you Aries this week which is going to bring your security back to you that has been missing beautiful all right, that's what I have for you, Aries. Let's have a look at my beautiful Taurus. 13, 23. All right, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. Tell me what we have for Taurus, please. Okay, we've got the Magician and the Page of Cups. Oh, you're in your power, Taurus. You are in your power. The magician is you manifesting. You've got the magic this week, guys. The magic to manifest what it is that you desire in your heart. It's the page of cups. Opportunities opening up for you. Information, news coming in. The beginnings of change, which is going to make things happier. Uh, more fulfilled, more enriched. So you're manifesting, you're the magician. What is it that you want to manifest? Because you're in charge, guys. What do you want to do? So add this to those cards we had at the beginning and take that forward for you. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you, my darlings. Let's move on to Gemini. Hi, Gemini. How are you, my lunar brothers and sisters? What do we have for Gemini? You've got the Hermit. What else do we have for Gemini, please? The Five of Coins. All right, so Gemini, 
Many of you are in that lack energy struggle, feeling left out, feeling in the cold, feeling like everybody else has got it okay and I haven't. Um, now, this can be money and many people are struggling at the moment, I know, all right? But when we're in the energy of lack, we just invite more lack. We've somehow got to break that. So how do we break it? And they're giving you the hermit. So this is your, this is a Virgo card. There may be a Virgo around you helping you to pull you out of that space. Now, the hermit is also about going within, reflecting, thinking, meditating, channeling, right? So I want to get out of that space of uh, poverty and lack. It's not just about money. It's about feeling out in the cold and on your own and struggling. So we've got to get back to the hope. Think about those cards in the general reading coming in from the angels. There were some really positive cards there. We want to get out of that round and round of the poverty struggle and cycle, the lack energy, and get back into an attitude of gratitude and happiness and play. Let's lift up that vibration and that will bring more good Good things to you all right my darlings that's what I have for Gemini all right let's move on to cancer hi cancer 1610 hello my darlings how are you cancer please what do we have for cancer for this week of the fifth you got the sun the sun is shining on you cancer and the king of cups so he was there in the beginning obviously in the beginning reading the general reading so cancer you've got the sun twice so they're asking you to be very not the sun twice sorry <laughs> king of cups twice all right they're asking you to be very positive about this situation that keeps going round stay in the optimism stay in the positivity know that you're safe and secure and hold that hope that we had there with the angel cards that came in and also the play the, the sun is the solar plexus it's it's that sense of empowerment and trust and play and joy and yeah the the frivolity let's get away from the seriousness and the heaviness and let's get into some joy here that is the message i have for you cancer all right my darlings let's see what we have for my leos hi leo all right my darlings what do we have for leo please we've got three cards coming out leo so you have got the palace of coins and that card came out for aries all right with the four of wands and the where is he <laughs> with the uh, six of coins okay so six of coins is a card of having enough more than enough all right good things come in good things are coming things are coming towards you being valued appreciated a decent flow of prosperity coming towards you and these two cards together are signifying for many of you a move all right, the four of wands is often a new home. And when it's coming in with a palace of coins, which is a home or place of work, um, that's very balanced and secure and harmonious, then we are moving here towards that. Now, it may not all happen this week, but you are moving into that energy. So those of you who want to move, it's definitely on the cards. The other energy with the four of wands um, is about somebody moving in with you, upgrades, promotions, improvements, beautifying your home, doing it up, um, all sorts of stuff to do with the home, however this resonates for you. And that six of coins is saying there is enough, there's enough there to make this happen. So whatever those dreams are for you, hold the dreams, hold the truth and make it happen. All right, Leo. Let me move on to my Virgos. Hi, Virgo. 19. Hello, Virgo. All right. So what do we have for the 5th of October, please, for my Virgos? Tell me about Virgo. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, guys, and the Three of Coins. Okay. So the Wheel of Fortune, you're at the end of a cycle. You're moving into a new space, a brand new space. This is very, very relevant for me. I've just completely changed my business model um, and a brand new way of working. And that three of coins is collaboration, working with others, teamwork. Also talks about teaching, helping, advising others. And so you are moving Virgo into a new energy.
energy this week, a new vitality, a new way of thinking that, yeah, Virgo's we tend to work on our own and don't do a lot of team stuff. Um, so this is the time now for you to reach out to others, to collaborate, to promote, to suggest and to bring in that energy of working with others into this new cycle. All right, my darlings, that is what I have for Virgo. What do we have for my Librans, please? 2016. Hi Libra. Happy birthday to any of you who've got birthdays this week of the 5th. What do we have for Libra please? You're the Ten of Wands, the end of a struggle. With the Emperor you are coming into your power Libra. Um, so where you have been feeling disempowered, unheard, nobody's listening, nobody's taking any notice, they're disrespecting me and I'm struggling with this. The end of the struggle is coming in this week for you guys because you are stepping out of that struggle and into your power. Some of you may be getting a promotion, um, getting out of a job which was a struggle and into a better job, maybe not into another job, maybe out of a job and just time to recover into your own power before the next job comes along. But you are leaving that struggle, you are ending that cycle and you are coming into power, Libra. Beautiful. Happy, happy birthday. All right, let's have a look at Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for my Scorpios, please. What's the message for Scorpio for this week of the 5th? We've got the Palace of Swords and the Knight of Coins. All right, so palaces are coming up quite a lot. Um, it's a third palace that's come up for um, for you guys, not just for Scorpio, for other signs. You've got the Palace of Swords here, which is a place where you can think clearly, where you have clarity, where you can use that very sharp intellectual mind, Scorpio, where you are feeling like I am moving forward. The Palace of Swords is up high in the air. It is in a place where I've risen above the heaviness, the struggle, I've risen above it and I can just see clearly. I have a different perspective, I feel brighter, I feel more aligned, I feel in a really good place. Now we've got the Knight of Coins coming in with that. Now the Knight of Coins is the slowest moving knight in the deck. All knights mean action, taking action on your security, your stability and your money. So the Knight of Coins is coming along but he's not quick, he may not be here this week but his energy is on the way, all right? So I want you to trust that it may take a few weeks or a few months, but you're gonna start seeing the results. The most important thing is that you keep focused on that palace of swords. I can see clearly, I know where I'm going, I've got my vision and I'm holding true to my vision. That's a channeled message there for you. Hold true to your vision, Scorpio. All right, my darlings. Let's see what we have for my Sagittarius. Hi, Sag, how you doing, my lovelies? Um, there we go. All right, I'm just writing down the timestamps. All right, my darlings. So, Sag, please, what have we got for my Sagittarius? We've got the Ten of Cups, oh my goodness, with the sun. Oh, Sagittarius, how exciting. Oh my God, what a combination. Right, so take those cards from the beginning and add these to it. That treasure island, you are moving towards it at a rate of knots. You've got the sun here, the brightest, most optimistic card in the deck with the ten of cups, which is the happy ever after card. I mean, oh my God, it doesn't get any better than that. This is phenomenal. So harness that energy, Sagittarius, in whatever way, whatever part of your life it we're talking about, work, relationships, home, whatever it is, this is a phenomenal week for you. Your energies can't get any better than this. This is just wonderful. All right, Sagittarius, that is what we have for you. Let me have a look at my Capricorns. 2414. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what we have for you. All right, my darlings. We've got the Four of Wands again. I say again, not for you, but for somebody else, they had the Four of Wands and Temperance. Four of Wands is the home, a new home, improvements, upgrades, somebody moving in with you, you moving in with somebody else, getting a pet. We are making 
changes in the home in order to bring balance because it's coming in with temperance major arcana card of balance and harmony bringing back the balance temperance is a card of moderation all right so where things have been too high or too low or unstable or bouncing off the walls we're wanting to bring back that balance now that can be within your relationships at home or that can be within the home itself okay some of you can be moving to a different place where it is more harmonious and more balanced for you um, certainly they're just saying to me some of you could be moving for work where you no longer have to do a really long commute that it's just easy and it brings more time and more balance to your life but there is an uh, improvement here an increase an upgrade in terms of home and balance for you this week Capricorn all right my darlings let's see what we have for Aquarius hi Aquarius I hate looking down, writing this down, instead of looking at you. Hello, Aquarius. I have to write the timestamps down, though. All right, my darlings. What do we have for Aquarius, please? We have got the Six of Wands, the Victory card with the Three of Swords. Okay, so what this is telling me, guys, is that some of you have been through a bit of a difficult time. All right, now we know that 2020 has been pretty horrible for just about everybody and some have struggled more than others and some have been through more pain than others, but everybody has struggled. So for you, Aquarius, those three of swords that have hurt you where you felt, you know, just not in a very good place, you're coming out of that this week now. You've got the six of wands, which is the success card. It's a beautiful card of... You know, the, if you think about the five of wands, which is that battle, they're all fighting each other. He's come out victorious. And this is you. You've come out of that hurt victorious. And you are ready now to move things forward. You've grown, you've learned, you've strengthened. And you are now feeling better and better as you move forward. Beautiful. All right. Now, Pisces, my beautiful Pisces. Hi, Pisces. What do we have for my Pisces, please? We've got the world with the seven of wands. All oh, right, beautiful. These last two signs is about completion, isn't it? Gone through a struggle and coming into a better place. So the world with that seven of wands. Seven of wands is the card of battling, defending yourself, protecting yourself, standing up for yourself. We only need to do that when there's people around us pushing, 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 and we have to push back. And that's about boundaries and confidence and trust and security. We have to have all those things in place in order to push back. We've got to believe in ourselves. So you have been on a roller coaster of that having to stand up for yourself. And the thing is, it's like most things in life. It's a lesson that once we've learned it, we don't need to keep learning it. It's done. I've learned those boundaries. I've learned how to stand up for myself. I've learned what's acceptable and what's not. So the universe is saying with that world card, that's done. It's finished. We're coming to the end of that cycle now. You can say, right, some of you are leaving a situation where you realise that you know, whether it's a job, a relationship, a home, a neighbourhood, whatever it is, to say, I'm done with all of that, having to defend myself. I'm just done with it. It can be a change of attitude that you just go, I'm not arguing with you anymore. I've had it. Or it can be you actually physically leaving the situation. Whichever it is for you, the world card says this is now finished and done. It's done. So you can put it behind you and start to move into ease and harmony and grace. All right, my darling. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. And for those of you still here at the end, thank you so much for staying with me to the end. Thank you for joining me for this weekly reading. I hope it helps give you the inspiration and information that you need to guide you forward. Sending you much love. Take care. Bye-bye.